Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we talk about fragrances, everything fragrance related. Sometimes we do clothing stuff, fashion, try-ons, that sort of good stuff. So if that's your vibe, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a video. Today's topic is fragrances with sex appeal. Fragrances that will make a man melt, fall for you, all that stuff. I realize it's a sensational title. It's, you know what? We all wanna be attractive and fragrances can help us do that. And so I was kind of looking at my fragrances and I was like, which are the ones that are the most sexy, the ones that get me the most compliments, the one that my man loves the most? Like the fragrances that really make a man fall head over heels for you. Fragrances that strangers will follow you sometimes and ask you, what is it that you're wearing? It's so good. Um, not just compliment getters, but fragrances that really, like you can tell a guy is into you. You know when you guys wear a fragrance and a guy approaches you and you can tell he's into you and then he asks you what you're wearing? They're few and far between, I'll tell you. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, you can tell. And yeah, so I'll tell you guys right now, I'm not a huge sweet fragrance person. So the fragrances in this list are not all like basic sweet fragrances. There are a couple sweet ones. There are gonna be a couple that you guys have heard of for sure, but I like to mix it up. I like to keep it interesting. I like to appeal to a bigger audience, different tastes, and I'm pretty well-rounded. So we're gonna keep this list pretty well-rounded. I'll tell you guys what kind of man I think these fragrances would kind of snatch, if you know what I mean. So I guess we'll just get right into it. You know what, no, before we get into it, I do wanna share a story with you guys of what happened to me today. And I don't think it's fragrance related, but it was an interesting story. I was coming home from, basically I pulled out of Costco, I'm driving on my merry way, going along, and I have, obviously I have my cell phone, and I am horrible, horrible, horrible for this. I know I should not look at it when it dings, but I do, and I was expecting a message for someone. It was work-related, so I opened it, and I was zooming in on a picture. I was zooming in, and I was like, ah, like, what is this? Little do I know, right beside me is a police cop, and he's a cute one. He kind of gestured to me, like, he looked at me like, you know, and he gestured to me to pull down my window and where I live, it's illegal to be on your phone when you're driving as it should be and I was totally wrong. So I pulled down my window and he looks at me and I'm like, so he was like, yeah, you know, shouldn't be doing that. And I was like, yeah, I know, I'm really sorry. You're totally right. I really shouldn't have been. And you know, my bad. And he was like, yeah, it's a, like that's a big fine, you know, $650 and three demerit points and up to three days of your license being suspended. So I was like, oh man, in, my, in the back of my mind, I was like, here we go. Like, I'm screwed, I am screwed. And so he was a younger guy, like probably younger than me. Yeah, he's just like, basically, he's just like, just put it away. I'm like, I'm gonna put it far, far away. <laughs> Threw it in the back of my seat. He's like, okay, Merry Christmas. I was like, phew. Thank God. I like to think that I had amazing fragrance wafting out my window that just like bedazzled him, but that was probably not it. And he was just a nice guy. Anyway, all clear guys, don't text and drive and like bad on me that I did that really bad. I'm stopping now. And we're gonna finally get into the fragrances. The fragrances with sex appeal. The first fragrance is a new release that I have been absolutely loving and this is from Dior. This is J'adore Eau de Parfum Infinisme. It's, it doesn't smell like J'adore at all. I've never liked J'adore, but this one is a stunner. This one is a sexy white floral, yellow floral. There's Ylang Lang, there is Jasmine, super sexy. In the opening, there's an orange, blood orange. There's, oh man, it is so, like this is an indulgent, indulgent white floral. 
a little peppery and spicy. It's like J'adore's distant cousin with like a badass edge, like a lady that is so lavish and attractive and doesn't really care what anyone thinks of her and is just bold and glamorous and she's got that razzle dazzle. You have to like your tuberose, you have to like your jasmine. This is bold. It's got a beautiful sandalwood in the base. It's, it's a woody, slightly spicy, very rich white floral, stunning, and I love it. It also smells to me like there could be patchouli in here, even though it's not listed in the notes, but I smell something patchouli-esque, a good patchouli. Maybe it's not in here, but it's what my nose is telling me. So that one, I feel like, would get you a mature, classy man, probably a man with a little money in his pocket, you know, no judgment, just saying. I just don't think that a younger guy would be the one to go for this. I think you'd get yourself like a real elegant older man. That's that. By older, by the way, I mean my age and up, which would be like 35 plus. So like, I don't mean like older, older just mean my age, which I guess I consider older. <laughs> Moving on, we have a fragrance from Paco Rabanne and it is Olympia. There's Olympia, there's Olympia Aqua ou Leger, which I love, but I think it's discontinued. This one I love because it's lighter, it's more salty, it's more aquatic, and just I just adore this one. It's my favorite, it's a shame it's gone. If you can find it, get this. If not, the original is also beautiful, super sexy. It's really, it's got a sex appeal edge to it. It's rich, it has a beautiful cloud, it leaves a beautiful trail. It is intoxicating, salty, sweet, caramel, like indulgent and rich and this one's for all ages. Like this one is, I mean, I don't really want to assign ages to anything, but I just feel like the J'adore that I mentioned before was a little bit more mature. Whereas like this one's for anybody, like I guess 20 plus. It's a playful, flirty, very sexy fragrance. This one turns heads. It absolutely turns heads. It's a huge compliment getter. A lot of people already know about this one. I don't want to get too, too into it, but it's a really, really great fragrance with massive sex appeal. It's very seductive. Men really, really like this. Trust me, they really like this. The next fragrance is from Narciso and this is Fleur Musk. This is a really beautiful, feminine, sexy, musky rose fragrance. It's a really nice, typical Narciso Musk. It's a uh, dry, not sweet, like not super clean. Just a, just a like dry, like almost slightly dusty. I know that sounds weird, but it really does have sex appeal. This is a really elegant, feminine, sexy fragrance. A very, very nice rose. This is a fragrance you would wear to an upscale event. And I would wear this one with a beautiful gown and my hair probably in an updo and red lipstick. Oh my God, Bernie is going crazy right now. This fragrance is such an underrated fragrance from the house of Narciso Rodriguez, but it's beautiful. It really deserves a lot more attention because I get a lot of attention when I wear this one and it really does leave a beautiful trail. It's the, it's my fragrance of the day and it's probably the easiest to wear Narciso. Like if you have a hard time with the ET and the EDP, this one's lighter. This one's more floral. It's very likable. It's not too sharp and it's just very sexy and demure, but sexy. We're three fragrances in, so this is the moment to tell you guys to stay tuned until the end, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you my personal three favorites of this whole list. This list is no particular order, but I do have three favorites that I'm gonna share with you at the very end. The next fragrance I'm gonna mention is from Dior, and this is pure poison of course you guys know about this one it's a beautiful clean gardenia centric white floral fragrance with jasmine as well it's it's rich and opulent and bold but somehow very clean not sweet just very clean it's a a beautiful woman's naked body that's this fragrance 
I know that sounds super weird, but it's like so sensual and soft and almost artistic, like in that way of, okay, I know I'm getting a little bit out of control here, but imagine you're painting a beautiful nude painting. That's what this makes me think of. And yeah, I really love it. I, I guess the association is with the nakedness is because I like to wear it out of the shower. This isn't so like bold in your face sexy. It's more of like a subtle, low key, soft, clean, but captivating and enchanting sensuality. I feel like a guy that would like this would be like a very intelligent, refined gentleman that would take you on a date to a classy restaurant with like white tablecloths, you know, that kind. And he's probably living in a nice penthouse apartment downtown, but like a perfect gentleman. I feel like that's what you would attract with this fragrance and it also leaves a beautiful scent bubble. I'm gonna mention if you can get an older formulation, definitely do because the newer formulations are more watered down. This one is from 2014. I also have one from 2019 and the difference between them is incredible. Like definitely go for the older one. Number five is a little bit more of a playful take and this is Victor and Rolf Bon Bon. I really love Bon Bon. I find that it has a lot of sex appeal. It's a very sweet, fruity caramel style fragrance. Wow, I totally missed the paper on that one. It's like a sophisticated, elevated candy. It's, I don't wanna say it's in the same vein as like Viva La Juicy fragrances, but if you, if you like that sweet kind of caramel fragrance, just go for this because this is a lot more classy. I'm gonna say Viva La Juicy is a little bit trashy, whereas this one is classy. So go for the Bon Bon because it's gonna have the same effect, okay? Men like sweet fragrances. They just do. Most men that aren't in the fragrance world that you know, haven't explored a lot of different scents tend to gravitate to sweet fragrances. It's just how it is. Most men will love this and it's not too sweet. Like it's not toothache sweet. It's like a little bit musky and woody. It has a really nice, rich, woody base. It's a really, really well-made sweet fragrance. It's not just a mishmash of like random sweet notes. It's actually very well done. There's a nice peach note in the opening. There's nice citrus. It's so good. It's actually such a great fragrance. I also really like Flower Bomb, but that one's very popular and I do feel like this one has a little bit more sex appeal. So definitely go for the Bon Bon. And that one I feel like younger guys will definitely love. Guys like 20 and under will like love for sure. Like you can't go wrong with that one. And upwards, like most men will really like it. Let's be honest, men like sweet things. But that being said, Let's go for number six, which is not sweet at all. And this is Bottega Veneta Eau de Velour. This is such a like kick butt, take control, sexy, independent woman fragrance. This is a head turner. This is bold. This is rose, plum, patchouli. Like this is a leather jacket, sexy lady fragrance. And Yes, men do like this, for sure. It has sex appeal, it has edge, it's a little vampy, it's a little dom, if you know what I mean. And there's nothing wrong with that. Most men like a woman that is bold and confident, and like I've mentioned before, this is a confidence elixir. This fragrance, when I wear it, I feel like an absolute queen and I can take on the world. So even just for that reason, it's a total man killer. A lot of men who are in the fragrance world do really like this and it has a beautiful leather note that isn't too, too prominent. It's there just enough to just be like a little bit animalic, a little bit edgy. And a man that's gonna like this is probably into fragrances himself. So there you go, you guys are gonna have something to talk about and yeah, it definitely has sex appeal but not sweet at all. Like that fragrance is the polar opposite of Bon Bon. Those two are completely different. One is very sweet, one's very playful. The other one is very 
take charge, bossy, not sweet at all. And yet both of them are very, very attractive. The next fragrance is from Yves Saint Laurent and this is Libre Intense. Libre Intense is a really boozy, sexy, more vanilla rich take on the original. It is a great evening scent. It is sweeter. It has a lot of lavender. It's a very unique smell. This one is gonna be a head turner because it does smell very different and it creates a huge cloud. It, the sillage is incredible. When I wear this, like I've worn this to work and people can smell it when I walk through the door. So that's a good 20 feet. Like, okay, I overspray, but I, I don't overspray that bad. And even though my office space is very open, 20 feet is a lot. Maybe 15, 15 to 20 feet, I haven't measured. But anyway, it projects. That's the point I'm trying to make is it really projects, it catches attention. Oh my God, this fragrance is something else. Like this makes me melt inside. I think this is super sexy. This is just like, to me, I would go for a woman that smelled like this. I love the original as well, but this one is more of like an evening version of it. It's richer, it's more boozy, sexy, vanilla, a lot of nice white florals. It still smells very clean. It still has that same original DNA as the YSL Libre. I did a full on comparison, so I'm gonna link that video up at the top for you guys. It is just such an attractive scent. You know, like you just wanna keep smelling it. That's, that's this fragrance, and I think that it would be perfect for anybody. So that's why it's on this list is it would be perfect for anybody from their 20s and probably even under to as long as you want to date for. Okay, next fragrance, I promise I'm gonna be super quick because you guys know, Alien. Alien's my favorite, I freaking love Alien. Jasmine, rich, sensual, a little bit animalic, bold, very classy men tend to like this. Men that aren't into fragrances really don't like it. So know, know your man and know who you're trying to seduce. You know what I mean? This fragrance is a bold. It is unapologetic and that's the kind of man you're gonna attract with this. I really love it. I think it's super duper sexy. The projection and trail on this fragrance is out of this world. It is like nothing else. It fills a room and for those people that do love it, it is a very mysterious, captivating, enchanting fragrance. It's really, really good. We're down to the last two. So number nine is Chanel. Coco Mademoiselle. I've talked about this many times as well and I'm not gonna get too into it. I've done a comparison of the Intense and the original Coco Mademoiselle. This one, even though isn't sweet, isn't, you know, caramel, isn't musky, isn't all these things that tend to be a fragrance with sex appeal, this one definitely has sex appeal for sure. And it's very classy. This is like, imagine a woman in a suit, a beautiful woman with her hair tied back and red lipstick on and glasses in a beautiful skirt suit or not a skirt suit, whatever. This is this fragrance. Imagine you're a guy and you run in to this gorgeous woman in an elevator and then it's like an awkward three floors down and you just like, you're captivated by this woman. Coco Mademoiselle, that's this. That's what it smells like. It's a citrusy, rosy, patchouli fragrance. There's something about the scent that will never leave your mind. Like once you smell it, you're gonna be thinking about it. And men absolutely love this. Most men that I know adore this fragrance. And I kid you not, like I swear I'm not lying. There has not been a day that I've worn this fragrance and didn't get a comment. Every time that I wear this fragrance, I get a comment. It works, it just works. It has sex appeal, it's beautiful. You know people love it, they just do. And the last fragrance on this list is from Dolce Gabbana and this is a new release. This is the only one Eau de Parfum Intense. This isn't like the other ones where 
I find them quite generic. This one has some edge to it. This one almost smells to me like a sweet coffee. Even though there's no coffee note in here, I smell a little bit of like a sweet coffee and jasmine and woodiness. And it reminds me of Alien and it reminds me of Olympia. And But imagine there's a beautiful, smooth, sweet coffee note in there. Not like black opium. No, because I don't like black opium. Like there's no coffee note in here, by the way, guys, but it, it's just, it smells that way. It makes me think of like the coffee note that's in Coffee Break from Maison Margiela. I kind of hate to admit it because I don't like anything else from the only one and any sweet fragrances from Dolce Gabbana. So it almost pains me to say that I like this, but I really, really, like this. It is like a fragrance with undeniable sex appeal. It projects really well. It's amazing for cold weather. So if you guys haven't tried this and you don't like the other only one or the one or you know the other sweeter fragrance releases from Dolce Gabbana, seriously give this a try because it's hitting all the right spots. Men really like it too and yeah, it's just, it's got sex appeal, undeniable sex appeal. And that's it. Those are my top 10 fragrances with sex appeal slash man killer fragrances. And now it's time for me to tell you guys my three favorite ones. Why, why don't we take a guess? Why don't you guys comment down below and let me know what you guys think my three favorites are. Just pause the video. It is insanely difficult for me to choose three favorite ones but I am gonna go with Coco Mademoiselle for sure. And yeah, I've worn a lot of it. So that's kind of one reason. The other one is Alien from Moogler. Also because it's a lifer and I've worn a lot of it and it's a staple in my collection. It's, it's just, it's one of my favorites. I'm struggling so hard between Libre and Dior Pure Poison. I'm struggling really hard between these two. I don't know. I kind of want to say Pure Poison, but I also really love this one. I don't know, guys. I guess they're a tie. Sorry, sorry, there's four. Two of them are on number three, and that's these two. Sorry, I lied. Sometimes I lie. I said three, but there's actually four. So those are my top man killer fragrances with sex appeal amazing projection just ones that men tend to really love let me know what fragrances have been working for you guys what are your favorite like man killer fragrances what are your favorite fragrances that have sex appeal like the most seductive sexy fragrances that you have in your collection i want to know i will probably get them so leave that comment give this video a like if you enjoyed it please subscribe if you guys haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye